Scano, Sago, and Good Day Six Nations. Our community has been in alert level black for over a month. And in this time, we have seen our number of active COVID-19 cases decrease to zero for the first time since December 2020. We have also seen an increasing number of community members choosing to get vaccinated. Our community has worked diligently to get to this point after a very difficult year. With the introduction of vaccines and declining case numbers, we are beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. I am happy to announce that after careful consideration, Six Nations will be moving into alert level red of our pandemic response framework, effective Wednesday, June 2nd at midnight. Under alert level red, the following restrictions will be in place. No private gatherings with those outside of your immediate household. Monitored gatherings are limited to five people indoors and 10 people outdoors. Community members must stay local when traveling. Restaurants are closed for indoor dining, but outdoor dining and curbside pickup and delivery is continued to be allowed. Retail businesses will remain closed, but can offer curbside pickup and delivery. And gyms are allowed to open, but there must be at least three meters between people working out indoors and face coverings are required throughout the facility except when exercising. No classes are permit permitted at this time. However, personal training is allowed. For more details on restrictions under Alert Level Red and the Six Nations COVID-19 Pandemic Response Framework, please visit sixnationscovid19.ca. The decision to move to Red was made by taking many factors into consideration to assess the risk level within our community. Our emergency control group conducts a risk assessment every week, and these assessments look at the level of virus transmission within our community, healthcare system capacity on the territory and in surrounding areas, and the community's compliance with public health measures. When all of these factors were assessed last week, it was determined that the risk level in Six Nations was low and low enough to reduce our alert level. Our alert level status will be assessed again next week on June 8th, at which time the elected council as well as the emergency control group will look to move to reduce alert levels. I would also like to acknowledge the fact that Ontario has recently released their own three-step reopening plan for the province. While this plan provides valuable insight into the months ahead, Six Nations will continue to follow our own COVID-19 pandemic response framework with some modifications as we have done since the beginning of the pandemic. We have learned a lot these past 15 months about the effectiveness of our response framework and we recognize that this pandemic presents an ever-changing environment with new challenges. Our own framework is well suited to respond to these unique challenges that COVID-19 presents within our territory. As we look to the months ahead, our alert level status and framework will be continuously reassessed to ensure that we are moving forward in the safest and most effective way possible. However, I also want to remind our community that even though we are optimistic and it is still very important to continue following all public health guidelines, COVID-19 is still spreading in surrounding areas and still has the potential to sp spread within our territory. We also have community members who have not yet been vaccinated, such as our children and those who cannot get vaccinated for underlying health reasons. We aren't out of the woods quite yet, so please continue to wear a mask, wash and sanitize your hands frequently, and avoid large gatherings. Before I go, I would just like to acknowledge the strength and perseverance of our community and that they have demonstrated throughout this pandemic. Our people are resilient and though we have not been able to physically gather for well over a year, we have come together to protect one another from this ter terrible virus. And I want to thank the community for your resilience. And I would especially like to thank our essential workers and healthcare workers who have been on the front lines every day to continue keeping our people safe from COVID-19. I hope that we are able to gather once again very soon and get back to seeing the people and doing the things we love. Let's all continue to do our part 
to keep our numbers low and to continue protecting our people. Until then, please stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you and Yahweh.